everyone, my name is Tong, and today we are in Xiaing district of Tainan City. Xiaing is well known for its agricultural cultivations. Um, as you can see behind me, this is actually a field of black beans. And black beans is actually the ingredient for black bean sauce, which is one of the three most important treasures of this district. Xiaing is also known for its goose meat and also silk, which will be later turned into blankets. Today, we are going to take you around and explore this area. Let's go discover some more. To fully learn about the three treasures of Xiaing, we are at the Agriculture Exhibition Center operated by the Xiaing District Farmers Association. Here I am in Xiaing's Agricultural Exhibition Center. I am here to learn more about the district. For example, here it tells you about the evolution of this district, uh, which actually evolved from an agricultural land. And here, uh, you can learn about the geographical locations of this area uh, and Xiaen is actually located on the northeast part of Tainan City and here they tell you about some uh, attractions within this district and in this uh, museum and exhibition center you can actually learn about uh, more about this area especially the three most precious jewels that they have which is goose meat, silk, and black beans. So let's go. The first of the three treasures in Shang District is silk. Silk has been a huge economic resource in Xiaing ever since the silk factory opened in 1973. And behind me on this wall, you can actually see the process of how silk is turned into blankets and hopefully we can also see that later um, here on these two walls. This one also tells you uh, the different types of mulberry trees and this one tells you the different types of silkworms. Let's go find out more. The second treasure of Xiaing district is black beans. And here is an introduction of black beans. And later we're actually going to uh, see some black beans field, the, the plantations, and also um, to see how black beans are actually turned into black bean soy sauce. So that's gonna be really exciting. Um, but I just wanted to point out that here on this wall, there are specific types of black beans that are only grown in Tainan. And here, you can also see um, some health benefits of black beans. They're even spring rolls. Oh my god. The third treasure in Xiaing district is goose meat. And so uh, goose are, they actually live in, are able to live in very harsh environments and they live uh, longer age than ducks also. So later I'm really excited to try some goose meat myself. Xiaing's agricultural industry exhibition actually allow visitors to experience how silk is turned into blankets. So let's go find out more.
。哎，所以这样子就是做好了，对不对？对对,对。然后再铺上最后几层，这样对对对。三层。三层。哎，对。然后来就是要把那个内被单把它套住。最后这个是缝线。对。一件的话，棉被要缝五十针。五十针，嘿，当做固定吗？对。This is actually the first time for me to witness how silk is actually turned into silk blanket, and you see all the process. It's actually、uh, it requires lots of details and lots of attention also, and all of. This hard work only turns into one single blanket. So it's really incredible how these women, these ladies here, have worked in this industry for over 30 years. The making of black bean tea is actually quite simple. So first, you、uh, lay the beans out in the sunlight and let、uh, the beans soak the sunlight. Second step, you cook them into these machines behind me, and after they're fully cooked, you can finally dry them with these vents. After four to six months, after these fermentation are ready, they will be delivered to a more modernized factory for further process of the making of black bean sauce. And actually, this place right here,、uh, not only do they produce black bean sauce, they also make black bean tea. Next, we are going to a black bean sauce factory for the next step of the production, where the process has been modernized. Walking in here, I immediately smell the strong sense of black bean sauce. It smells just like soy sauce, except even better. And right here, right now, I am in the factory that makes a black bean soy sauce. Uh, in Xiaing District, and this place is actually operated by、uh, Xiaing's Farmers Association. Their black beans are planted here, and they're produced here, so it's completely local. Let's go find out how it's done. Let's 因为在发酵的过程当中产生一些豆粉，所以说你要经过沉淀的过程，然后过滤完，我们就是接下来要到那个调味的阶段。调味完了之后，我们在第二次的沉淀，跟前面一样，要经过一个礼拜的沉淀时间，把它过滤了之后，我们就打到那个隔壁准备要装瓶的动作了。还没有，还没有，还要经过杀菌的步骤，这样产品才会有那个卫生，还有那个安比较安全。在杀菌的时候，那个温度跟时间是很重要的，那个温度不能太高，否则它那个蛋白质它会变质。From back at the exhibition center, where I learned about the traditional way of making black bean soy sauce, till now, where I just finished my tour in this very modernized factory, 
not only did I see the birth of a product, but I also see the value of black beans to the people of Xia'in and how much they appreciated uh, this black beans. And I'm really happy that I got to see like the, the whole process today. And plus, I got a gift, which was so touching. So on to our next stop. In 1979, the Xia'in District Farmers Association established a goose production and marketing group to actively promote the local goose farming industry and increase the quality and reputation of local goose meat, which has been distributed to many areas in Taiwan. Besides supplying meat products, the local goose farming industry has become culinary focused in response to the growing demand from the local tourism industry. Goose meat has now become a must-have local delicacy in Xia'in. Right now, I've just arrived in one of the most delicious restaurants and well-known restaurants in Xia'in district to taste some geese. Dishes. And here I have Miss Cho today here with me to introduce to me about, about these dishes. Oh, okay, okay. After the introduction of this entire table of local dishes, I am so ready to try some. With uh, some pepper. You can really taste that uh, the smokeness of this um, goose meat. Uh, it was actually uh, smoked by uh, brown sugar, and so, and it's also a cold dish, so it mixes all very well. Again, very very amazing. Mm. Dish, uh, it's actually duck blood mixed with rice, and the reason why it's so special because it's cooked with sesame oil. So it smells really good, and it it goes really well. Also, mm, amazing second one already, and they also added um, this old ginger, so uh, it brings out the taste even more. After learning about the three treasures of Xia'in district, I can understand why people here, the locals, are proud and should be proud of their agricultural advances. Later, we're going to travel to more destinations in this area, so stay with us to discover more.